Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this tutorial, we want to talk about the, the range of a function as a continuation of our series relation and function. The just ended episode, we deal with how to find the largest possible domain or finding the domain of a function. We did also mention that a range is just a subset of the code domain. So now how do we find the range from a given function? So for example, the definition is saying that it can be defined as what? The set of values of the independent variable. In this case, the set of values of the codomain, which makes the dependent variable x, which is the domain to be defined. So we are looking for set of values of y that make the expression of x. To be defined meaning we can easily solve that make that expression or equation to be solved so if you look at example we are having the function of h of x equals to the square root of 1 plus 5x this is the function whereby the h of x can be taken as the y which is the dependent variable so if for example i will say that equals to y then that simply means that y is going to be equal to the root of 1 plus what? 5x. So for this expression, finding the range here, don't forget the range is the values of the y. The domain is the values of x. So we are looking for the values of y that when placed into this equation make the x to be defined. So for to get the x to be defined, simply put, we have to make the x to be the first term on the left hand side whilst the other variables on the right so the first thing to do is to make y the x the subject then look for values of y that make the expression of x to be defined so how do we make x the subject here first of all we are having a square root so we square both sides and that will give us y squared equals to 1 plus what? 5x. So obviously, we are having 5x isolated. We subtract 1 from both sides. That makes us y squared minus 1 equals to what? 5x. So we still need a 5, and the x to be on its own. So we have to divide both sides by what? 5. Meaning x is going to be y squared minus 1 over 5. So now, we are looking for values of what? The dependent variable y. The values of y. When planked into this equation, will make this equation to be solved or to be defined. And obviously, since our denominator is a constant, then it means that every variable, every number, or every constant that will be substituted into y will still give us a value, whether negative or positive. If I begin with zero, I'll be having negative 1 over 5, which is a, a, a defined statement. If it is a negative 4, it will be squared to give you positive 16 minus this 15 over 5, 3. So you can see that all real values, why can I assume those values to make this statement work? True. So the, the range of this is going to be the set. It's going to be the set of values of y so that y is going to be belonging to the set of all real numbers. All real numbers, that if y assume all real numbers, then this expression become what? Defined. This is a little bit different from finding a domain. There is no change of subject. We just go ahead and find the values of y. That make that expression to be defined. But in finding the range, we first of all make x the subject. Then we find the values of y, that will make the expression of x being defined. I believe you get the point, right? Good. So that's the first one. Then the second one, also, we also can say that the f of x is also going to be replaced by what? Y. Because this is the dependent word, variable. So if that's the case, we let f of x to be equal to what? Y. That implies that y is going to be equal to 2x plus 1, then x squared plus what? 1. So, first thing first, what do we do? 
we make x the subject. So in order to make x the subject, we need to cross multiply. So in the cross multiplication, we know this will multiply this to give us y into bracket x squared plus 1 equals to denominator of 1 also multiply that to give us 2x plus what? 1. I can see x at both sides so I can push all this in or I can push all this in. Anyhow, I want to do it. The left uh, can come here or the right can also be moved to this place. So let's see y x squared plus 1 minus, let me put this all into bracket, 2x plus 1 should be equal to what? 0. Meaning I am pushing everything from the right to the left side. Now we can open this bracket to see. We are going to have y x squared plus y minus 2x minus 1 equals what? 0. So I'm seeing x squared here, x. So let me move this in here to have y x squared minus 2x Let's have plus y minus 1 equals what? 0. Now, our tax, what we are looking for is what? Making x the subject. But in this case, x is appearing at two places. Maybe you would think of factorization. If I factorize x out, I will still have a single x in here because of the square. So, there is no way we can make x the subject if you want to do factorization. So, we can also see from here that if we take y to be a constant, if y is a constant, let's just say y is 1, then here is going to be 1, or let's say y is 2. So, 2x squared minus 2x plus 2 minus 1 will be 1. So, this will become a quadratic equation. So, let's take this to be uh, a constant, which we are looking for. Then we can also solve this in order to find the x. Alright, so what do we do? We cannot use uh, obvious factorization method, so let's go for the, the quadratic formula, which we need the x, so x is going to be minus b plus or minus the root of b squared for ac, all this over what? To a. And here, don't forget, from this expression, our a is going to be the first term in front of the x squared, and that will give us what? Uh, y. Our b is going to be the term in front of the x, going to be minus 2. Your c is going to be the constant term. We assume the y is a constant, so y minus what? 1. So now we can do substitution into the formula. So now we are going to put in a into each place, b into each place, and c. So here, we have our x equals to minus b, and where b is what? Minus 2 plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4a, which in this case will be y, c, y minus 1. All this must be divided by what? 2a, and our a is still what? Y. So now let's simplify further. Negative, negative will give us positive 2 plus or minus. We still have our square root. The minus 2 square will give us what? 4 minus. Let's take this as one term. 4y multiplying y minus 1. So minus 4y times y will give us uh, minus 4y all square. Then minus 4y will multiply 1. That will be positive for 4y. So all this will be over 2y. Right? But we are seeing 4, 4, 4. So let's get rid of the, the 4 by dividing through by 4. And that gives us our x to be equals to 2 plus or minus the root of 1 minus y squared plus y all of our what? 2y. So now what we are looking for is that values of y when 
substitute into these places make this defined we don't need the function to be undefined so what do we do if i put zero at these places the top is going to be the square root of one going to be defined but down is going to be zero we can divide by zero so it means that y cannot be zero good now here also if y assume a negative number as in uh, negative one will be here negative one squared definitely will give us one then we have negative one minus one negative two so one minus negative two will give us a negative number meaning the values of y must also not be equal to what negative so what are the values they are looking for if y is zero undefined if y is negative undefined meaning y must always be a positive value in order to give us what they're looking for meaning that one minus y squared plus y must be more than zero must be equal in this case if it is equal to zero we are going to have the top to be uh, defined by the down be undefined so we need this to be more than zero or equal to zero all right in the same way that if we are going to be considering this we can also consider that y must always be equal more than what zero the values of y should be more than zero the moment values of y is more than zero this is going to be defined so our range is going to be the set of values of y so that y belonging to the real numbers and these real numbers to be 1 minus y squared plus y more or equal to 0 or y more than what? 0. This is the conditions of the real numbers that satisfy this uh, solution, right? That make this expression to be defined. So this is the range of values. All right, so in this case, it is also going to be almost like what we did and this will be the example three which we've left let's solve this and present our answer in the comment section if we have followed the principles and are finding the range don't forget change your subject first make x the subject then find the values of y that will make your expression defined i believe you get the point thank you for watching don't forget to share this video with your learning mate somebody on your contact list that need this even though you don't need this, share with them, encourage them to subscribe after watching, like, comment, and God will bless you. Bye-bye.